Welcome to another G segment, giving you entertaining vibes, entertaining news, everything juicy, everything spectacular. <laughs> Let's start off with Tinubu debunking death rumors. Now, there's a video circulating the net of Tinubu, a presidential aspirant who is, in fact, in London working out severely. Now, he came out to debunk all the rumors that he is not dead. Now, there's a lot of things I want to say, but I will reduce it to some. Oh, First off, I hope you guys know that this video is an old one. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just leave it at that. And let's even say that it is true. Is that what he's supposed to be doing? Is he not supposed to be running a campaign here in Nigeria that he wants to rule? Like what's working out on the treadmill going to prove, to be honest, that you are strong and fit enough? Bro, <laughs> what am I even saying, Chef? The person contesting for presidency in a country is not even in the country and he has not won no. What if he now wins? He will just pack his bags and relocate to another country and start ruling not from there. A bit joke to these people. If not by exercise, man you for don't win the match. Oh. <laughs> it's not even just him, another one is doing photo shoots. <laughs> now wow. And it's not by playing popular songs that will make you win, oh forget. Well, sir, I just exercised in 2027. But notwithstanding, there's another speculation that Tinubu was smuggled out of the country because he suffered a stroke. That Tinubu was smuggled out of the country through Gombe. That he gets stroke. But I hear him. Now, I'm not sure whether 100% this information is true. And I do not know what to believe again. And I think the only way for this man to clear all doubts is to actually come out for people to see him live and direct, flesh and blood. That way, people will see. They say seeing is believing, right? Let us see you, sir. Moving on, during an interview with a popular artist, Harry Songs, he cried out that he never had friends in the industry, making it clear that most of them are his enemy. All the friendships and my guy, my G, all are fake. And there are people that I've been working with for years. I'm telling you for years. If you call their name, you will say, ah, no, no, I'll be guy with this. Mm. They not be my guys. Mm. Mm. They be my... See, as, as a matter of fact, those are the, my real enemies. If you see Soso now, you can say Soso now, my friend, Abi. Wow. Soso is not my friend. He's my enemy. He wants to kill He sent people to come and kill me in Portacourt. No joke. I called this in when I was in secondary school. But now, now, in, in the industry, the... Cult, they take them, they brag. Yes, mm -hmm. I belong to this cult, I belong mm -hmm. to that cult. People mm -hmm. where you would think, say, get respect, we humble. Like Skibi. Skibi stayed in my house. I fed him, gave him money, clothes. They give him clothes for my house. Skibi, that was staying in the house that I rented, that they, they fought me. Why you go rent house? Skibi, where they stay for my house, where they feed. Everything. Skibi insulted me and my wife, where I can't go, go my wedding for worry. Yo, this is a very serious accusation to just throw out in the open. No. <laughs> like, how sure is Harry that he sent people to kill you? Fam. This allegation is too strong, and if there's no proof, I'm um, don't be. I thought him and Soso were very tight body safe. Like, bro. And come to think of it, you knew that people are not your friends in the industry, but you kept them very close. Are you not supposed to keep them at arm's length? Make it make sense. I don't get it. You knew, and then you're complaining that, oh, they're not my friends. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be biased here because this is a serious matter. And until, or if Soso comes out to reply, there are still accusations from Harry. And he's here saying that there's no real friend, there's no real friend. Is he also a real friend to people that he considers as friends? Uh. Well, that's your personal matter. And if this blows out, you guys be certain that this industry will take a new turn. Still inside the industry, according to a post made by Susan Ayo Honesty, the owner of Glam and Essence magazine and former editor-in-chief of City People magazine, she posted in the later hours of yesterday that Messi Aigbe's sister accused her mother of using her glory for Messi to become rich and popular. Now, this is coming from someone that is notable in the industry. So, my best guess is this is not fake news because, of course, she would know the tea of what is happening inside the family, right? And just imagine, oh, after she made this statement online, her mother's house in Antony Village, Lagos mainland, caught fire. Wait, did exposing her mother cause the fire to catch the mama house? Like, is this really true? Because this cannot be a coincidence, you guys. Maybe Auntie has been praying, 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 and the fire of God just catch the house. Like, ah, to burn the juju that is there. And it is an attempt to take back her glory that her mother stole. 
This is just an assumption, no. Hmm. What a lie. Then again, another breaking happened when the NDLA busted another place with over 8.8 billion worth of tramadol pills. But let's be frank with ourselves now. <laughs> there were no guns blazing in the place, so like, what's going on? You just strolling and say, wow, this is the place. Who gave you the intel? And look at something. I'm seeing two different houses. Where exactly did they bust? Are they going to burn on this one like the way they did with the cooking matter? Now, wow. No men on uniform. No gun. You just walk there like you live there. Please, help me understand now. Hold on. This particular case, they showed the man's face, name, and all this sorts. But when it came to the cocaine boss, they hid the people responsible and then burnt the evidence. Huh? <laughs> my country, my country. The level of being biased is just smelling up and down. Half you have got small now. Even Nollywood would not do past this one. And finally, what is going on in Abuja? Jesus Christ. If you see the way armor bars are just walking in, carrying guns, like they're just walking randomly on the road and taking people's properties, like what is happening? The level of insecurity is just alarming. I just imagine, you, know, you will not see police is your friend in that area. If it is to drag people on the road to be checking their phones, that's where they have the power. Also, I have the opinion that the forces are actually giving these guys these weapons because it's not just adding up at all. How did they get access to the guns? Hmm? How are they so confident like that, like they own the place? Fam, they didn't even cover their faces. They only wore a face cap. Now, wow. It's the way they just threw. Like, it's just off-putting. God protect us all, though. Well, that's all I have for you on this G segment. Until next time, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.